Hello, this is part two of my antivirus installation tutorials. The first video covered installing an antivirus with real-time protection, uh, more specifically Microsoft Security Essentials. Today I'm going to show you another of my favorite free antiviruses that does not offer real-time protection. Uh, you really don't want to have two antiviruses running in real-time protection because they can conflict uh, causing incomplete or slow scans. Remember, not one single antivirus can catch every malicious code or virus out there. That's why it's a good idea to have at least two antiviruses, one with real-time protection and one that only scans when you open it and, and uh, select to scan. Today I'm going to show you a really cool tool that I love to use called Ultravirus Killer. I learned of Ultravirus Killer from a YouTube video released by a company named Brytech and their uh, YouTube channel is Brytech09, it's B-R-I-T-E-C, you can see it here on the screen. And here's their channel right here, Brytech09. Uh, they offer great tutorials on a lot of software and tips and tricks. Very good channel, very good channel to go for uh, learning how to remove uh, different viruses um, for different diagnostic videos and things like that. I'm going to go to the download page for UVK and begin uh, installing it and show you how this product works. It's really a great product. I'm going to type in UVK and then I'm going to type or click on the UVK Ultravirus Killer link here with www.carefred.com. I always go to this one site uh, to get this, I don't go anywhere else. I'm going to click on it, and as you can see, the web page opens, and I'm going to show you here. UVK is more than just uh, an, an antivirus scanner. It comes with all kinds of different tools for troubleshooting, uh, system monitoring. I mean, this thing is just loaded with stuff, and it also even has options to download other types of antiviruses that don't come with the... Uh, product. Here's all the features. I mean, you can see it's loaded. And uh, you guys could go to their site and read all this. It's really, really good. Uh, I'm gonna, I am going to show you the automatic anti malware scan since that's what we're going to be doing. Right here, UVK comes with malware bytes, comes with Super Anti Spyware, Hitman Pro, Kaspersky's. TDSS killer and it even comes with combo fix so I mean that's a lot of antiviruses it's uh, five different ones now the, the thing about this is is what it does is it automatically updates the antiviruses runs the scan and then if it finds anything it'll automatically remove them even for you I mean it's just awesome so uh, we're gonna scroll down all the way here we're going to download UVK, the latest version. Uh, if you're in Google, you'll get the warning here. You'll click Keep. If you're in Internet Explorer, you'll get the yellow drop-down box. Just click on that and click to download the file. When it's finished downloading, click on the executable link. I'm going to click Run. And I'm going to go ahead and close the web page for now. Oh, I guess not. Run. It's not going to let me close the page, I guess. Okay, so if, if the uh, user account control opens, I'm going to click Allow. When the end user license agreement opens, it's kind of weird. Sometimes this doesn't open. I don't know why. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I just click accept because it's the same old thing. Okay, so now uh, the setup window opens. I'm going to leave it right here to uh, install into the program files of UVK. I'm going to leave a, a create system restore point checked. Run UVK after install checked. Context menu delete with UVK. I'm going to leave that checked. 
I'm going to leave associate with UVK files checked. I'm not going to create a uh, desktop shortcut. I'm going to use auto updates and we're also going to uncheck the tool tips. Uh, you can leave the, these checked and if you do want to see the tips uh, definitely leave that one checked. I'm going to click install. It's going to run through the installation creating a restore point first and I'm going to pause it while it's doing this. Okay while it's installing I'm going to talk to you for just a second about UVK. Uh, just to let you guys know there is so much to this tool that I can't cover it all in one video so I'm going to create another video on just UVK that way I can go through and show you the different uh, tools that I use and uh, what is actually involved with this piece of software okay so now UVK is finished uh, installing as you can see here again there is a lot to this and I'm, I'll go through this in one video with you uh, first of all, I'm going to go to UVK options and make sure everything is set up the way I want. I'm going to leave the context menu, delete with UVK checked. I'm going to associate the UVK or with UVK files. Uh, they, when you run the scans, it creates a log and um, puts the log on your desktop so you can view it and uh, see what exactly the uh, antivirus scans came up with and what it did with them. I'm not going to create a shortcut. I'm going to keep the use auto updates and then I'm going to keep the show tool tips unchecked. So you see even you can still edit the uh, preferences once uh, UVK actually installs. Okay so now I'm going to go back home here. I'm going to click on the automatic anti-malware scan okay so here it is as you can see you have Malwarebytes, Super Anti-Spyware, Hitman Pro down here you have Run Kapersky TDS S Killer and then uh, you can also run scripts and here's Combo Fix, Combo Fix runs separately and I leave that one unchecked uh, really what I do when I run the scans is I have it update before scanning and then you would choose which type of scan you would want I'm going to choose a quick scan for this uh, super anti spyware I enable rescue scan and uh, I'm also going to choose quick scan hitman pro I disable uploaded files I'm going to quick click a uh, quick scan on that one also we're going to leave the automatically delete threats found checked I'm going to leave uh, run Kapersky's, Kapersky's TDS S killer scan and what that does is it scans for root kits I'm going to leave that checked I'm going to uncheck the system repair scripts and that's something that we'll get into again in another video. You don't want to run this unless you really know what you're doing with it. And uh, same with running combo fix. You don't want to run combo fix unless you absolutely know what you're doing with it and you cannot get rid of a virus by using any, th any of these antiviruses. It's a very powerful tool. Okay, so now once we have everything checked and uh, set the way we want it, you hit start scan it's going to remind me about running the scripts are you sure you want to start the scans now without running the scripts I'm going to say yes there it goes it begins updating malware bytes I'm going to pause it while it updates okay so as you can see it's finished updating and it's starting its scan and uh, if it finds anything it'll automatically automatically remove them sometimes if they're serious enough it'll actually show you what it found and uh, and then you can choose to remove them yourself. So this is what it does and it's going to go down this whole list of antiviruses all automatically except for uh, or excuse me all automatically except for it's not going to run the combo fix. So uh, that's pretty much it. You would let everything run. You would remove anything if uh, it didn't remove it automatically or you can check your log and see what it did find and what, it, what each of them did remove and I uh, I would highly recommend this piece of software it, it really is just awesome I've gotten to where I wouldn't run without it and if you don't wanna download this I would suggest downloading malware bytes and super anti spyware you can get them from cnet.com they're free downloads and both of these I again I wouldn't run without these two especially along with a real-time uh, scanner. Super Anti-Spyware 
catches a lot of the cookies uh, and it also catches other things but I mean it catches mostly cookies and uh, Trojans malware bites will catch darn near everything I mean it's just a great anti-malware tool and that's going that's going to be it for the tutorial I'm not going to sit and wait for all these to scan I don't have time for the video I only have 10 minutes so I can't go through it all as far as the scanning goes so uh, if you get a chance go out and check this out again I got it from a YouTube channel called Brightech09 and uh, you want to go to www.carefred.com to get this piece of software I hope you guys learned something I uh, hope you go out and check this out and you actually do like it if you have any questions feel free to ask and uh, have a good day you guys